Here's today's In Touch Devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 5 of 1 John chapter 1. This is the message we have heard from Him and announced to you, that God is light and in Him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with Him and yet walk in the darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light, as He Himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we are deceiving ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and righteous, so that He will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make Him a liar, and His word is not in us. Continuing to chapter 2. My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And He Himself is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. By this we know that we have come to know Him, if we keep His commandments. The one who says, I have come to know Him, and does not keep His commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever follows His word, in him the love of God has truly been perfected. By this we know that we are in Him. The one who says that He remains in Him ought Himself also walk just as He walked. Christ's sacrifice on the cross paid for all our sins, but we're still susceptible to temptation and disobedience. Therefore, those of us who are believers must understand what to do when we yield to our sinful desires. Knowing our struggle, God has graciously given us a way to receive cleansing so we can continue to grow in holiness. We're to see sin as God sees it. Our Heavenly Father is absolutely pure, and to Him every sin is an offense that violates His law, grieves the Holy Spirit, and belittles Christ's sacrifice. We're to take responsibility for it. Trying to soften sin's heinous nature by calling it a mistake, weakness, or shortcoming is unacceptable. We must acknowledge our guilt and disobedience rather than make excuses or blame others. And we're to confess it. Agreeing with God about our wrongdoing is a blessed privilege because He then washes us clean of the guilt. And what's more, He empowers us to turn away from that sin in repentance so we can begin walking afresh in holiness. In today's scripture passage, John explained how we're to deal with sin but his main purpose was to encourage us to turn from it and walk in obedience to God. The longer we're Christians, the less sin should characterize our life. 